Hello! Oh my goodness, goodness, goodness. My life is... Uh, first, I always start my videos with normal chit-chat. So, I was going to go to New York tomorrow. But, yeah, I love New York. There's always something going on. So, I got an email. Grand Central Station on March 2nd and 3rd. They're going to have a, um, a, a real vintage airplane in um, Vanderbilt Hall. This is where Tommy and I used to go all the time. Whenever they have events, they always have free stuff going on. You know, they used to do stuff for the Olympics. I remember one time we went there and we got to meet an Olympian and she let us touch the gold medal. That's right. I forgot about that. Oh my God. I love Grand Central Station. I wanted to go there. Remember they, were gonna, they had the Northern Lights display and I wanted to see that. But then we, got, well, we had a snowstorm. So that, that didn't happen. But the weather actually looks really good for Wednesday. It's going to be 50 degrees. It's going to be really nice out. So that's where I'm going to go on Wednesday. I'm going to go see the, the display of a real vintage airplane in Grand Central Station. Plus, plus is a contest going on. It's just kind of crazy. Guess where the location, I swear to God, the tickets. I can win, I can win a trip to West Palm Beach. Mm, not kidding, for real. So they're going to have two displays there and you take your photo with the display. And of course we have to have our mask on because it's indoors in um, a public transportation center. So that stinks, but I got to have my mask on and I can enter the contest to win tickets to go to West Palm Beach. But this time I go to a really nice hotel and everything like that. So that'll be cool. So I'm going to do that Wednesday. And like right across the street is Bath and Body Works. I have a bunch of coupons. So I want to go get something there. Then I go back across the street, get another bus, and that'll take me to Macy's. Yes. So eventually I will get to Macy's at some time Wednesday after I go to Grand Central Station and do all the fun stuff. So Wednesday is going to be awesome. A lot of stuff to do, so make sure you subscribe to my TikTok because I like to put videos up there where I go out and everything. So, yeah, that is the little calming part of the story. Okay. Hmm. Yes, I am double taping it, so hold on a hot minute. Hello. Yes. This is because TikTok now lets you upload 10 minute videos. So I'm going to try something new with you guys who maybe do not subscribe to my YouTube channel. Come subscribe to my YouTube channel. I do long form videos over there. I have been doing this for 11 years and I have 22,000 and change subscribers. So come over there and if you like to hear me talk, I can talk. These lips, beautiful lips by Verna. They are lips and I'll talk about that later, but yeah. So come over to my YouTube channel. Now back to this. So, um, Adam Barda is my YouTube partner. We've been doing, we did, we started out doing a show called The Tea. I think we did two seasons of The Tea. I forget. God, I don't remember. And then we started doing The Dish. Oh, this is season one. I don't remember. I taped so much with Adam Barda. It's unreal. I go to Florida. We tape shows together. We do lives on every Friday, mostly every Friday, unless he decides he wants to try and go solo, which doesn't fly well for him at all. But anyways, so I go to Florida to film the dish. We're doing that right now. We're in the middle of doing it. Well, it's all done, supposedly. It's all taped and everything. He's working on putting that together. So right now he's also, he's friends with a lot of z-list celebrities a lot of the z-list ones you know nobody a-list although don't ask adam that he thinks he's one of them he's not <laughs> anyway so he has a friend of his staying with him now and y'all might know her her name is mama june mama june so she's been posting all over photos of where she's staying she's been on adam's live She's not making a secret. She's quite obvious what she's doing, what she's saying. And it's not my fault if anything gets out there. She's making it well known. So um, she kind of crashed into our Friday's live. She's actually been on our past two Friday lives because um, 
her life's been a bit of a hot mess for a little while. But anyways, this is part of it. So you can see that the real mom of June does know me and she is talking smack about me. So hold this on. This question we can definitely ask you, June. How's the relationship going between Mama June and Cynthia? This is our exclusive drama. She kind of did her little clap back video, which, hey, Cynthia, it's okay. You know, I intimidate a lot of women. Jennifer, is Cynthia the new... No, you don't intimidate me, June. I know you want to pretend you do and act like this tough bitch. What happened was I had auditioned, sent in tapes for the Netflix show and nailed it. And um, I made it all the way to the final round. I made it to the last round for the show. And oh my God, I, I mean, I'm new to this. I'm very, very new to this. And I made it to the final round of Netflix, nailed it. And I got cut. I got cut. It came down to the last 40 entries and they cut 10 more people. And unfortunately, I was one of the 10. You know, it's for many reasons why they have a certain amount of slots available and maybe they hit their quota on my age group. I am 51 years old, by the way. I say I look younger. Some people say I look older. It depends if you like me or hate me. So what can I tell you? So I didn't know that Mama June had known that I got cut from Nailed It. Adam Barta told her, unbeknown to me. So I was feeling very vulnerable. I can't pronounce the word because I got cut. I got cut. I really, really, really wanted to do this. It would have been my first time on TV. It was exciting. And she was like putting all this out there like, you're trying too hard. You're doing this wrong. You got to make people come to you. And my, my thing is, I don't have a television show. I don't have anything other than my videos, my TikTok and my YouTube. I always say every video that I make, I go full fong at it hard. I pretend this is an audition tape because you never know who's watching. So Netflix, I'm still available. Hire me. So I was just taken back and I was not in a good mindset. Um, you know, so she was saying all this and I was hurt. Because I thought maybe she knew somebody at Netflix and maybe I screwed myself forever. But that wasn't the case. It just turns out that Adam Barter and her were just making fun of me. And, you know, being two bullies that they are, making fun of me that I didn't, I mean, I lost out on a show that I really, really wanted to get on. And it was upsetting to me. And, you know, at that time, at that moment, here's Mama June. Yes, I had I had been a fan of Mama June since she was with um, the Toddlers and Tiaras. I loved that. I loved her and her family unit. I love the kids. I love watching them grow up. You know me. I like that. My mom loved Mama June. My husband loved Mama June. It was very hard to watch last season of Mama June because it was the first time watching it without my late husband. It was hard because that was one of our favorite shows we watched together. So to have someone that you kind of idolized, put you down, it hurt. It really, really hurt. It did. So that was why I was upset and crying because it just, you know, I was in a bad spot. You get cut from a show that you really want to go on. And that's what happened. So it what that video wasn't really a clap back. It was just me expressing how hurt I was by what Mama June had said to me. But, um, um, you'll see if you watch, I'll clip the, I'll put the video in it. You'll have to go to my YouTube channel to see those links for, this is um, Adam Barta's Mukbang with Mama June Shannon at Burger King and Wendy's. Now, the funny thing is in the video where Mama June was schooling me, she goes on to brag about how famous she is, all the shows that she's been on and on and on and on. Well, you know what? Your show is really old. You're not that famous as you think anymore. It's really old. I mean, Adam Barter is known for putting, excuse me, people's names in the title. Because he, he's well known for being a cloud chaser. He knows it, he does it, and he's proud of it. So that's how he rolls. I normally don't do that. I use my own name, my own face. I rarely put other people in it. Of course, this time I will because you are involved in it. And you put yourself in my video by saying that. So my, my point is that, um, you know, here she is thinking she's all that. And yet her video with Adam has under what? 400 hits. Um, yeah, your video right now has 
321 hits. So honey, you really should take my advice too. Maybe you should just clean up your act a little bit. You know what I'm saying? You know, I mean, what's Mama June known for? What is she known for? Last year, she's known for the big breakup with her boyfriend, Gino. Gio, Gio, Gio. That was last year and all that. Well, this year, what's the show going to be about? I don't know anything about the show. Nobody tells me anything. It's quite obvious they have their little click, and I am on the outside. I'm, I'm always on the outside. Believe me, I don't know anything. Uh, I'm not in the inner circle. <laughs> far, far out. But that's okay. That's okay. There's more air out here. It's better for us. So, my point is, she's in Florida right now. Why? She originally went there because she was doing something, um, a charitable thing for, um, um, because she's sober, two years sober, and she's supporting another person out there to be sober, something like that. It's a very good cause why she was there. But while she was there, someone called the cops on her new boyfriend. The new boyfriend's name is Justin or Jason. I don't know. I don't know. Whatever it is, I forget. The thing is, why are you still in Florida, June? I don't understand this. The boyfriend is being held in jail for at least 10 days because he has a warrant for his arrest for drug charges. And he never, all he had to do was go to court. That's all he had to do. He didn't go to court. He blew it off. In my opinion, they did this whole thing stage for the show. So they have something to talk about. But point intent is, is why are you still in Florida? Your boyfriend can't come home until 10 days. I know it's coming up this week, but what are you waiting for? I mean, she's hanging out with Adam because it's free and it's nothing, something to do. But you're so famous and you're so big and, and you're all that. Why are you waiting around for your boyfriend to get let out of jail? I don't understand this. What is the point of that? You haven't learned to stand on your own two feet yet. You've been through so much. You've supposedly came back and here you are yet again waiting on another man to what? tell you what to do. Go home, June. Go home. Be with your family. Your boyfriend's going to come back. But you staying in Florida waiting for him makes you look like such a weak woman. I don't understand that. You need to go home. You should. I don't understand why you're just waiting for him. Now I have to hit stop on this because it's only 10 minutes. So hold on. Okay, so there. So she's waiting in Florida for her boyfriend to get out of jail. So I guess she wants to ride on the home flight home with him while he's handcuffed and have cops about him. Maybe that's the whole point. So the cameras are there watching the show because you're so boring. This is what you're waiting for, Mama Jen. Is that what it's all about? Because that's what it seems like to me. Just saying, just saying. And I have to say, some of your, your she does TikTok videos. Oh, and she refuses to follow me on TikTok because she's just so much better than me. But she follows like 500 other people, mostly young men, mostly young men. Most of her videos, she duets with young guys because she likes to play with the young boys. Her boyfriend now is, um, I can't remember, if is like eight years younger than her. But he looks just like Sugar Bear. I was like, oh my God, she's back with Sugar Bear? No. But she has a type, short, skinny, and toothless, because that's what the new boyfriend looks like. That's who she's with. That's what she's waiting for in Florida to come home. Also, I hope, Adam, you really clean that room when she leaves, because her hair has been so greasy. I mean, my God, does she ever take a shower? It looked really greasy and dirty. Please make sure you steam clean that uh, mattress before anyone comes back. Because, God, you might want to check for bed bugs, too. And also, Miss Big Celebrity seems to only have two shirts to her name. She was seen yet again in Adam Barda's mukbang video wearing the infamous tie-dye t-shirt that her boyfriend was arrested in. And she wore that for 48 hours straight, was filmed on our show, The Dish, and the talking dish with that show, shirt. And now here she is again with Adam Barta's mukbang with the same shirt. Oh my God. 
Adam, please thoroughly sterilize that room. Lysol, bleach, you probably need somebody to come in to really clean it out. And then she's got a TikTok video up of her eating crackers. Her nails are so long and so fake, the crackers are smaller than them. It's like, why even bother getting a cracker? You might as well just use your finger and scoop it up and eat it. And that video of you shoving food in your mouth has got like 300,000 hits. But the videos of your nostrils, not so much. Hmm. You're not going to take my advice and go get a little tripod holder because it would really do better for you. But hey, at least you showed off your nails in that video, right? You showed them off how you were eating your, what was it now? The rotisserie chicken salad with her little club crackers. That's what she was doing. She did a really good job of that, I must say. And Adam, I hope you're not eating from that because her nails got in there. Oh, God. If she doesn't wash her hair, I'd hate to know what was under the nails. Oh, oh, wait, wait. Oh, really? Really? Oh, God. Can you imagine, guys? If she can't wash her hair, you know she's wa washing her fingernails. Oh, God, no. What else was there? Oh, yeah. I want to say my lips look absolutely beautiful. They were done by Verna in West Palm Beach. Adam took me to get my lips tattooed. They were made. He had Meg brows done, which I want to get done next time. And I had Meg lips put on. These are permanent lipstick, which really look amazing because Adam Barta took me there and I got them done for free because Adam hooked me up. Oh, where did Adam take you, Mama June? Oh, I remember. He took you to Walmart. Oh, you go to Walmart. I go to West Palm Beach to get my lips done. Oh, that's the difference between you and me. Hmm.